anyway, this is uh, his response on wanting a full-time job. Um, Trev Albertson said the other day that, you know, see how things go, but you very well could be a candidate for the permanent job. Is that something that you want? I think when you accept the interim job as a head coach, I think that's, that's the opportunity that you're working for. Is to, is to become the head coach. But we understand what goes along with this profession. It's wins and losses, and that's what it's going to depend on. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> I, short, I think that was pretty obvious, right? <laughs> short, short, sweet, and to the point. It's, it's yep. wins and losses. That's all that matters. And if I want to keep this job, I got to win games. And, and, he, and I think he made it clear. I want it. I didn't yeah. take the interim because I don't. I took the interim because I want to earn the job. And that's yeah. pretty cool. Uh, that's some and, ballsy move, man. I love it. And he and he's been coaching for quite some time. And yep. I think that it's because if there's anything I could judge off the top of my head about Mickey Joseph's character is that he respects himself too much to or not even respects himself. Maybe he downplays himself a little bit too much to think, you know. I'm not going to go head coach somewhere just because I think that I have the ego or the bravado to do so. Right. I'm I'm going to wait. I'm going to take my time with it, and yeah. I'm going to wait for the right opportunity that, that mm -hmm. a door could open for me where I want to be a head coach. Um, is this the most ideal situation? No, no. It's definitely <laughs> no. not an ideal situation to <laughs> adopt a literal dumpster fire. Um, oh, sure. But yeah. But I mean, it's it's pretty simple. If I win games, I can earn this job. If I lose games, I don't get this job, and that's fine because I think that should be expected for any coach for any reason. Well, I don't think he comes to NU as the wide receivers coach and the um, passing game coordinator and associate head coach if he didn't think he could do the job if it needed to be done. Yep. So in his mind, he's like, oh, yeah, if you're going to name me the interim, I'm going to try to go earn that shit. And I think he's going to do everything he can to earn it uh, because that's who Mickey is an earn it guy always has been. He's short for a quarterback. He had kind of small hands for a quarterback. Nebraska fans used to talk about that crap all the time back when I remember watching him play him, but he always earned the starting job because he was better than the other guys. Maybe he's going to, earn this one too, the starting job as head coach, because he's better than the other guys that Trev is going to look at. Because somehow he figures out how to get this team to a bowl game when the golden boy from Florida couldn't figure out how to do it, which still breaks my heart. I thought that yeah. was going to happen, but um, God bless Mickey. I love the guy. I love his straightforward attitude. I love the fact that he's unpolished. And just doesn't care what people think of him. He cares more about the kids in the locker room and what they think of him than the people in. in and he doesn't make any rash statements. He just says what he means. And I think, based on what I've seen so far, he absolutely means what he says. 